I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solder 14 karat gold posts to 22 karat gold granulated earrings. People get nervous putting posts on, but the whole key really when you're heating it is to heat the piece and not the post. If your flame goes on the post for more than maybe a second or so, that little stinker will melt. So I'm going to show you how I set it up and how I solder it, and that way you won't have that problem with posts ever again. So with an earring like these basically i'm going to uh guesstimate where i want the post um, i want them to hang down so the post is going to go basically behind the stone normally i just lay them both out and take a sharpie and put a little dot there and then you know look at it and whatever um until i go like yes that's the spot for it um normally i just i don't want it so high you know, it doesn't hang down too low. I don't want it so low so that it sits on the ear too high. So basically I'm going to use my powers of guesstimation. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, one thing I will tell you, if you're soldering posts, you don't really want to solder one post on and like go throw it in the pickle and then work on the other one. Um, what I normally do, once I'm done with the one, I leave it sitting right here because you want to be able to really see it and make sure that you're not setting up the other post on the other earring, you know, like funky. It's uh, helpful uh, to be able to see them both and kind of go, okay, you know, that looks like the same-ish spot on both. So I'm going to use a third arm, which is, or a third hand, however you want to look at it, to hold the post in place. So basically I've got it clamped right in here like this. And I find it much easier to get it as straight as possible in the third arm, you know, check from the side, make sure it's not leaning, whatever, before I pick it up and put it on the piece. Because I feel like once you put it up on there and then it's moving and then you put flux on there and like, I don't know, it becomes very aggravating. So I try to get it in position straight up and down as much as possible before I bring my piece into it. And I'm gonna check from the side. Yeah, that looks good. Because usually then what I try to do is I'm gonna put um, a little dab of flux and stick my solder in place and then pick this up and put it right on top. I call it kind of the uh, sandwich method because basically you've got your piece, you've got a little square of solder, and then you've got your post on top. And if you put them together in the right spot and then heat the piece, the solder will flow, attach to the post, and everything will be groovy. I'm gonna uh, switch the camera around to a little more close-up view so you can really see exactly what I'm doing. But I do pretty much the same method for all the posts that I put on. So I've already cut some little tiny squares of solder. This is 14 karat soft because my posts are 14 karat. Now, if you'll notice, they are super tiny and I really just want a little square of solder that's just a hair bigger than the bottom of my post. Uh, I don't want a big fat square sitting there because otherwise then you'll have like a big meniscus and it can look a little sloppy, which is not what I want. So I'll show you after it's all set up. So I'm going to put a very tiny little dab of paste flux right on my little dot right here. I'm going to pick up the piece of solder and place it. Uh, and then I'm going to put my post right on top. like so. Uh, I'm going to double check from the side and make sure that like the post looks like it's, you know, nice and straight up and down and not like slanted one way or the other. Um, cause remember from the front, everything always looks amazing, <laughs> but sometimes from the side, things can be very, very different. Hmm. 
looks pretty straight. So what I'm going to do when I solder this is I'm gonna position my heat parallel to my block and hitting the piece because that's the whole mistake is that people will be up here with the torch and if you do that more than likely you're gonna hit the post and it's gonna melt. I keep my heat on the piece. Once the solder flows, I might bring my flame up here for the tiniest of seconds, just to make sure I get a nice meniscus, you know, that little volcano that forms uh, around the post with your solder. Um, but if you stay on the post at all, bad, naughty, terrible things will happen. So don't do that. And normally, since I'm using a 14 karat post, I'm using 14 karat solder. So I probably will switch over to either a double zero or a zero. I don't really need an enormous flame for this. Since this earring itself is not like really, really tiny, I think I'll go with the zero. And normally what I do also is while I'm heating, I'm going to just rest my finger on here. It's not that I'm gonna be really like pushing down a lot, but when you set it up, sometimes it can be hard to tell if it's making like really good contact or if maybe there's just like the tiniest bit of air in between. So usually I just rest my finger on here to make sure the post is making good contact. Okay. So I've got my flame parallel to the board. Okay, and just keep your eye on the solder. There you go, that's it. It doesn't take much time at all because 14 karat solder melts at a relatively low temperature. Uh, I will show you an extreme close up so you can see how this is. But that's really all you do. Just put the heat on the piece and watch the solder and it'll flow. If everything is in good contact, which it is because I was gently resting my fingers here. It's just gonna flow together and that's gonna be that. I mean, that's how I do my posts. So there it is, extreme close up. You see how the solder has flowed and it's kind of climbed up the bezel a little tiny bit. That little volcano is what we call the meniscus and that's what makes sure that, you know, it's uh, really touching and you've got good contact. Now, if you don't want to see that little tiny bit of solder on the back, you can also just like drill a little half hole and melt your solder in there and then stick your post in and flow it again. It'll give you more of a seamless look. But when I'm working in thinner metals like this 22 carat and whatever, um, and this is like 26 gauge sheet, honestly, I don't want to like half drill because uh, things can go wrong. So I, in that case, I usually just put it right on top like this, but if you wanna hide that solder, half drill, half melt the solder, stick the post in, reflow, and there you have it. And there's an extreme close-up of my little solder. You see how I placed it right over my little dot, tiny little bit of paste flux, and then I'll put my post right on top. So they're both done, and I think in relatively the same spot. So I'm gonna throw them in the pickle.